Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about trust and measure. A lot of you call me and send in your room forms, which is great, and we have uh, lengthy conversations on the phone. And I see a lot of people who want to measure their rooms first before they do anything in it. Well, this has both pros and cons. Now let's walk a little bit through the pros. The pros are that you know the frequency response of the room, so at least you know the areas of concern that we have to address when we treat. But we already have that data, because remember, we have a database of many, excuse me, many rooms that we built and measured. So the bottom line here is we have your room size and volume in our database. So there's really no need for you to go through the complicated process of measuring. So the bottom line here, what I want to encourage you to do is get your equipment in the room, get it set up, get some energy in the room, okay? We can always measure later. We're gonna to have to put equipment, we're gonna to have to put speakers, we're gonna to have to put amplifiers in our room. But let's get our gear in the room first and then we can measure later. The goal, remember, is to connect emotionally to the music. So we're gonna get the room out of the way as much as we can with treatment. But the goal here is to get some energy in the room so you can start learning about your room. Because every room has a particular sound quality to it. Low ceilings have a particular sound quality. Drywall has a particular sound quality. Wood floors have a particular sound quality. The, co the composition of this uh, studio I'm shooting videos in right now has a certain sound quality. So the bottom line here is you have to learn without numbers. You have to learn about the, the room and how it reacts with your music, your speaker size, your listening preferences. You know, It's a learning curve, so we want to learn. I would rather have a customer spend six months in a room he has not measured experimenting with different speaker and listening positions and setups, and then giving me feedback on what he's hearing, what he likes and what he don't like, and then we can treat accordingly. So definition, separation, perspective, all of these things we can get with just two speakers and a chair, provided we have enough room size and volume. So the goal here is to learn. The goal here is to educate yourself on what your room sounds like, okay? We always can treat low, middle, and high frequency issues. That's not a problem. Here's a good thing to do to help you really get a handle on this. Get yourself a male mono recording, not stereo. Set your speakers up in your room. Play the male mono recording. Get that image focused right between the speakers. So it's dead center, nice and clean. Then move your speaker one, the right channel a little bit to the right, left channel a little bit to the right, make the distances unequal, learn how the room treats the reflections from the sidewalls. Watch the image shift in the middle as you move left and right with your speaker. So this is part of the learning process. We have a whole series of things that you can do. Probably should do a video on that too. Whole series of things that you could do to kind of get used to your room, learn what it's doing. Then when you start treating it, a lot of different things are gonna happen. You're gonna correct the problems that we're treating for, but here's what else will happen. Other problems will start to surface because they were buried under what we're treating. So it's this whole layer of different issues that we have to work with. So if you understand your room sound, you understand how the room behaves at certain pressure levels and listening preferences, then your treatment has more validity. And it's a learning process that we wanna go through. So. Try that little technique with the uh, male mono voice recording, get the image right in the center, and then uh, call me, and then we'll talk about treatment. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.